Hi everyone, it's Christy from Wheels to Fields Flower Farm. I've gotten a lot of questions recently about dahlia cuttings, so I thought I'd make a quick video. It's fall and we're expecting a frost soon, so I cut a couple big chunks off of the dahlias so that I could propagate and make some more of these specific types. You can also do this in the spring from a sprouted tuber. Okay, so let me show you what supplies you need. I really like using this Root Riot cube. It comes pre-moistened in a little cube with a hole in top in order for you to put the stem in. And then I also use this Clonex rooting gel. It's not mandatory, but I find the success rate is greater when I use this and it also speeds up the process. And then lastly, a clear plastic cup with uh, some tape and a Sharpie to label. Make sure you always label your cuttings so you remember what type. And then a snips uh, to snip it at the right height. So let me show you the process. So you're going to look at the stem and you're going to find the first leaf um, joint or conjunction. Uh, and then you're going to go down one to the next one because you want to find one that's viable that will continue to produce and then one that we're going to actually peel the leaves off and that's what we want in the cube so i'm going to cut down in this area just below this leaf junction just short enough that it can fit into the cube once you pulled off those leaves so you see here i'm going to cut the flower off any buds because you don't want the energy to go towards producing a flower or bud. You want the energy to go towards producing roots. Then I'm going to pull here these leaves right off. You can snip them, but I usually just pull them off because right here is where the roots are going to start to form out of. So you can see here, this is what I'm going to actually dip in the cloning gel and then put into the cube. Up here, as long as you have some leafy growth, it will be able to photosynthesize and be able to harness the light energy and produce some roots and then ultimately produce tubers and be a viable plant. So here I just dipped it in. Now I'm going to kind of shove it. It's a rather thick stem. Shove it into this cube here, making sure that the very end of it is touching the cube, the area where we removed those leaves from. Then after you get it in there, I probably should have cut it a tiny bit shorter so it wasn't poking out towards the bottom. Then you just get one of your plastic cups. Remember the cube's already pre-moistened, so you don't need to, to wet it yet. Probably wet it tomorrow. We just want to keep it hydrated. And then remember to label I always put the date too, so I can remember how, how far along we are. This one was cut uh, on 8-29, so almost exactly two months ago. Uh, and there's a ton of roots, and it's probably time to up it into a pot now. So I need to, to do that. So here's an example of one that I've bumped up. So these AC Jerry's were cut uh, the beginning of August. And they've already been bumped up into a pot so after a little while i just plant that cube directly in a pot and then i've had to cut this one multiple times to keep it from getting lengthy and producing any sort of bud or flower uh, what i don't know is how long till these produce tubers this is a great question and typically i don't take cuttings in the fall i usually take cuttings in the spring on a sprouted tuber. Uh, that way I can have it all rooted and then plant it directly out in the field. So I'm really not sure how long it will take for these to produce tubers. In fact, we should probably talk about some light requirements, but I don't want you to miss out on this opportunity. Don't throw away the rest of the stalk. You see there's more branchlets here. Uh, more opportunity for cuttings off one single stalk. So I'm going to probably cut right below this branchlet just like I did before and then prune the top to leave some of the green leaves but maybe not all of them 
uh, and that way you get more than one cutting per branch. Okay, don't judge me here. This is kind of my winter setup when I don't constantly go downstairs. So this is in our pantry. We have some metal shelves and then you see we have we just have some T8 lights, some old lights uh, that were being taken out of a warehouse that we just salvaged and put on top of these metal shelves. And they work perfectly for our grow lights in our pantry, which is very close to the kitchen. I'm able to see it daily. I come in, turn on the lights in the morning when I get up, and I turn off the lights when I go to bed at night. So I do this in the winter when I'm not constantly going down to our kind of more professional grow light system in the basement. So dahlias are photosensitive. Most of the tubers will develop if they're within 12 hours or less of daylight. But at first you gotta get the roots going. So to develop roots, you want 12 plus hours, ideally 14 hours of daylight to get the roots going before you want tubers to develop. So right now I have them in 14 hours of daylight and ideally you should see roots in within 14 days. So keep your eye out, keep them moist, but not overly hydrated, don't have them sitting in water. And look for those baby roots within 14 days and then you can bump them up. And then after you feel like you have a great root establishment, then you can bump down the hours and try to get some of those tubers growing. Please let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.